Hello class. Okay, we're down to our last topic for the first three boards for AFAR. Okay, so today we will discuss one of the most confusing and challenging topics for accounting students. Okay, our topic for today is accounting for home office and branch. Okay, accounting for home office and branch. Ayan. So, marami hirap na hirap na students dito sa topic na to, no? Uh, but uh, I'll try my best to simplify this uh, topic for you, okay? Ang good thing about this topic is uh, similar yung concept niya sa business combination, okay? So, it means, if okay ka sa, if mag-gets mo yung topic na to, it means matadalihan ka na rin sa business combination. Sounds good? Okay, so, pag nakafollow ka today sa may discussion natin, then... Somehow, no, medyo okay ka na rin sa business combination kasi medyo similar naman yung concept nila. All right? So, ayan. So, sige. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, discuss this topic by uh, using an illustration. For example, uh, we have a uh, sinabagamit natin illustration. Let's say potato corner. Okay? So, I assume everyone sa inyo dito nakatry na kayo ng potato corner. So, lahat tayo alam natin yan. Okay? So then, we describe natin yung topic using uh, potato corner. Let's say this is the head office or home office of potato corner. Ayan. So pag sabi mong head home office, yun din yung head office o yung headquarters. All right? So let's say si syempre si potato corner, alam natin napakarami ng stalls niyan, tama? Marami siyang franchises uh, all over the Philippines and actually kahit sa ibang bansa, no? Pero let's say nag-i-start pa lang siya. Okay, wala pa siyang branches, wala pa siyang uh, stalls, okay? nag start pa lang siya. Let's say, ang magiging start niya, tatlo muna ng branches, okay? So, mag-start siya ng uh, branch 1, ayan, mas maliit. We have branch 2, branch 1, branch 2, and branch 3, okay? So, may head office, may tatlong branches, ayan. For example, nag start pa lang si Potato Corner. Okay, sir, paano mag operate yung branches na yan? So, basically, si home office, syempre, kailangan niya mag- mag-send ng, uh, ng pang-start ni branch 1, 2, and 3. So, imagine niyo class yung potato or na. So, kailangan niya ng stalls. Tama? Stalls. Obviously, fries. Siyempre naman, di ba? Fries. Ano pa? So, fries, mayroong flavorings yun eh. Tama? Flavorings. And then, ano pa ba yun? Yung uh, cup. Okay, mga ano ba tawag doon? Tawagin na natin cups yan. Okay? And obviously, kailangan din ng cash ng mga mag-ibenta mag, uh, mag dyan sa mga sa mga stalls na yan. Alright? So, lagay natin cash. Okay? So, yun yung kailangan ng mga branches na yan before they can start operating. Nakuha nyo, class? Ngayon, si uh, home office, may sarili din siyang operations. Nagbebenta rin siya outside. Tama? Sa mga customers, nagbebenta rin siya. And then, nagsusupply siya sa mga branches. Okay? So, yung home office dito, ito siya. Okay? And then, meron tayong branch. Okay? So, kung pupunta tayo dito sa ano natin, dito sa lesson natin, Tignan na natin yung journal entry. Journal entry in the books of the home office. Okay? And in the books of the branch. Okay, so tignan natin, class. Ano ba yung mga pinadala? Stalls, fries, laboring cups, cash. Okay. Credit cash. Stall, sabihin natin na PPE. Okay? Credit cash, credit PPE. Books ng home office, class. Ha? And then, eto mga inventory yun. Eh. Fries, flavoring, so on. So, in uh, home office and branch, hindi natin gagamitin yung... Uh, inventory na title, no? Ang gagawin natin, shipment, okay? So, shipment, shipment to branch, okay? Shipments to branch, ayan. So, credit cash, syempre, pwede tayo ng cash, PPE, shipments to branch. Yun, yung total niyan, ang magiging debit dyan is investment in branch, okay? Investment in branch. Yan yung journal entry in home office, okay? Ngayon, yung investment in branch niyan, obviously, this is an asset account, Okay? So, ibig sabihin, sa books ni home office, sa FS ni home office, in particular sa balance sheet, may ipresent siya doon na investment in branch, which is an asset account. Okay? Si branch, obviously, naka-receive siya ng cash. Naka-receive siya ng PPE. Naka-receive siya ng shipments. So, kung may shipment to, merong shipment from. Okay? So, instead of using inventory, shipments from home office. Okay? And then... Okay, so sir, ano yung credit naman ni Branch? Yung gagamitan niyang credit is home office account. Okay, HO. Credit HO. So, kung ito ay investment, okay, yung, yung debit ni home office, this one is an equity account. Nakuha niyo, class? Okay. So, ganyan yung journal entry. Tama? So, iyan yung journal entry upon establishing the branches. Okay. And then, 
since uh, naka-establish na tayo, mag operate na sila. Tama? Since sabi ko dito, si home office, may sarili din sa operations, nagbebenta rin siya sa outside customers. So, ano ba yung entry pa nagbebenta? Debit AR, credit sales, diba? debit cost of goods sold, credit inventory. Tama? Ano pa? Uh, so, debit AR, credit sales, debit cost of goods sold, credit inventory, and then debit uh, OPEX, credit cash. Okay. So, let's say, yan yung nangyari. All throughout the year, yun yung nangyari. Ngayon, si branches 1, 2, and 3, may sarili din silang books. Okay? May sarili din silang FS. Okay? So, same yung entry nila. Debit AR, credit sales, debit cost of goods sold, credit inventory, debit OPEX, credit cash. Kumbaga, si home office, meron siyang sariling FS. No? Meron siyang sariling FS. Si branch 1, may sariling FS. Tama? Si branch 2, may sariling FS. And branch 3 has its own FS. Nakuha niyo class? Kasi kanya-kanya silang recording. Eh, tama? So, ayan. Tigitigisa sila ng FS. So, all throughout the year, yan yung magiging journal entry. Okay? So, ito yung, let's say, uh, January 1 yan. Ayan, January 1 nag-establish. And then, journal entry number. Ayan na. Yung journal entry nila sa books nila. Tama? And then, uh, journal entry. So, journal entry number 2 yun. Ayan. Tama? So, lagay ko na lang na yun siya. Okay na to. Tama? So, check na yan. Ito yung journal entry number 2 natin. Nilagay ko lang dyan. Journal entry number 3. So, basically, journal entry number 2, ito yung all throughout the year. Okay? From uh, establishing the branch up to end of the year. So, December 31. Okay? So, December 31, obviously, kailangan natin, uh, ano siya, sa basic accounting, kailangan natin mag-closing entries. Tama? December 31. Eh, lahat ng income statement items or... Income statement items or tinatawag natin sa basic accounting na nominal accounts or temporary accounts. Tama? So, dumuan tayo sa home office. Sir, ano yung mga income statement items yan? Sales, cost of goods sold, OPEX. Okay? So, sa books ni home office, debit sales, credit cost of goods sold, credit OPEX. Okay? So, class, ano yung uh, ginagamit na account title kapag income or loss? So, let's assume net income. Income summary. Tama ba? Okay, credit. Income summary. And then next uh, entry, alam natin pag may income summary ka, okay? Debit income summary, credit retained earnings. Okay? So, ganyan sa books ni home office. Nakuha nyo class? Ngayon, sa books ni branch, same yan. Di ba? close natin lahat. Lahat naman ng income statement items, kinuklose natin in accounting. Debit sales, credit cost of goods sold, credit OPEX, credit income summary. And then next entry ni, ni branch, Debit income summary Credit May retained earnings account ba si branch? Answer is wala Ano yung equity ni branch? Ang tawag natin is home office Okay? Debit income summary Credit home office Nakuha nyo class? Ngayon Every time na gagalaw si, invest, si home office Dapat gagalaw din si investment in branch Kasi ang tawag natin dyan They are reciprocal accounts So at the end of the year Dapat equal sila Okay? Ibig sabihin, kung tumaas yung equity mo dito, dapat mag-debit ka dito. Debit, investment in branch. Okay? Kasi tumaas eh. Tama? So, dapat mag-debit ka ng asset. Credit, income from branch. Okay? Income from branch. Nakuha nyo, class? So, ayan. Yan yung mga journal entries natin. Okay? So, ulitin ko. Ito yung mag-establish ka. And then, all throughout the year, ito yung entry mo. End of the year, December 31, i-close mo lahat to income summary. And then, syempre, pag home office, i-charge mo sa retained earnings. For branch naman, wala siyang konsepto ng retained earnings, pero meron na siyang home office account, okay? Actually, hindi. Yung concept niya ng retained earnings is the home office account, okay? That's why doon siya nag-credit. Since tumaas yung home office mo dito, dapat balance lagi yung home office and investment in branch account pag de-debit ka ng investment in branch para ma-increase yung asset mo. Tama? Credit income from branch. Alright? And then, syempre, at the end of the year, si home office, si branches 1, 2, and 3, in principle, isang entity lang sila. Tama? So, pag gumawa sila ng FS, hindi pwedeng hiwa-hiwalay na ganyan. Okay? Sa end of the year. Kailangan mag-present sila ng tinatawag natin na combined Financial statements Combined financial statements Okay? Combined financial statements Ngayon, yung combined financial statements Iyon yung term na ginagamit natin For home office and branch Sa consolidation naman Or sa business combi Ang tawag naman natin is Consolidated 
financial statements. Okay, kaya halos sa similar sa ng concept. So, sir, ibig sabihin ng combine, edi ko combine ko lang. Yes, that's correct. So, ibig sabihin, pag ko combine mo lang yan, imagine class, merong FSA home office, may FS yung branches na yan. So, maraming meron doon. May uh, cash, AR, inventory, may sales, may cost of goods. So, so lahat, kompleto. Edi add mo yan. No? Add ko yung nasa FS ni home office, add ko yung kay branches, makukuha ko yung tiyatawag na combined financial statements. Okay? So, add ko lang lahat yan. Yung issue lang dito is, pag in ko lang lahat yan, okay, ano yung error dyan? Okay? Ano yung, ano yung mali dyan? Okay? May kulang pa dyan eh. Ang mali dyan, imagine, pag in ko lahat yan, ayan, add natin lahat yan, ma-overstate yung investment in branch. Okay? Ma-overstate yung home office. So, ibig sabihin, overstated yung assets, Okay? Overstated yung equity Kasi yung home office is an equity account What else? Overstated yung shipments Okay? Bakit sir? Because iisa lang sila Dapat wala kang investment in branch account Kasi parang Ibig sabihin, tumaas yung asset mo Because of nag invest sa sarili mo Parang ganun yun, di ba? Tumaas yung equity mo Because of yourself well, Hindi pwede yun Dapat from outside yan Tama? And then Iisa lang si home office and branch Dapat walang kung wala kayong tinatawag na i-eliminate natin yung transactions between the home office and branch, okay? So, in order to avoid yung mga overstatements na yan, kailangan meron tayong i-reflect pa na tinatawag natin na working paper eliminating entries. Okay? Working paper eliminating entries, iyan yung gagamitin din natin yan sa consolidated FS, sa business combi. So, much better if ma-understand yun na siya ngayon. Okay? Actually, madali lang naman yung working paper eliminating entries for home office and branch. Ibig sabihin lang yan, so December 31 mo siya gagawin class, ang gagawin lang natin dyan, lahat ng reciprocal accounts, okay? Ibig sabihin ng reciprocal, yun yung nag-arise from transactions between the home office and branch, i-eliminate natin sila. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga transactions, ano ba yung mga accounts sa kailangan natin i-eliminate na reciprocal Investment in branch. Since debit yung normal balance yan, i-credit natin. Credit investment in branch. Home office. Since yung home office is uh, an equity, credit yung normal balance yan, i-debit natin yung home office. Okay. So, ano pa? Shipments from home office is a uh, debit balance. Tama? So, ilagay natin dito, shipment from. Ship from na lang, ha? Plus, ha? Ibig sabihin na ship from, shipment, shipments from home office. Yung counterpart niya is shipment to. Okay? Home office. Okay. So, ayan. So, imagine class, pag ito, ni-reflect, in lahat ng FS nila, tapos ni-reflect mo to, so actually plus minus yan. Okay? So, matatanggal na yung home office. So, after doing this, add mo lahat ng FS, i-reflect mo yung working paper entry, yung makikita mo sa combined financial statements, wala nang investment in branch dun. Tama, na-credit mo na. Wala nang home office. Wala nang shipment to and wala nang shipment from. Ibig sabihin, tama na yung, yung content do combined financial statements natin. Now, one class, yun yung concept, concept ng accounting for home office and branch or combined FS. Halos ganun din yung concept ng uh, consolidated FS. Okay? So, ang gusto ko dito, kasi pag, usually pag tinuturo yung home office and branch class, huh? sa experience ko, kahit nung undergrad, kahit nung review, ang sinasabi ng prof, parang ipapamemorize sa yung formula. Okay? For example, okay, pag hinahanap yung ganitong, uh, ganito, ganito yung formula niyan. So, ang tendency ng mga students, kabisaduhin yung formula. Pag medyo iniba na yung given, patayin na. Diba? So, hindi ganun yung pag-aaral. Kasi, again, ulit-ulit yun. Ang pag-aaral, iintindihin mo natin yung, yung, yung big picture, which is yung ginawa natin today and yung epekto niya sa FS. Okay? Ito pa yung isang confusion dyan. Si home office, pwede siyang mag-ship ng fries, ng flavorings, or yung mga inventory at cost or pwedeng pagkakitaan na niya yung branches. Okay? Ibig sabihin, mag-ship siya at with markup. For example, yung uh, fries na yan. For example, ang, pag ang cost niyan is uh, 100. Tapos, ang bill niya kay, kay branch, 120. Siyempre, yung fries na yan, babayaran ni branch kaya na yan, di ba? Kaya uh, home office, malamang. Pero instead na ibigay sa kanya at cost, ang ginawa ni home office, well, ang mark up pa nakita ng 20%. Tama? 120 yung i-charge ko sa'yo. Ngayon, iyon yung isa pang issue dito. Because kapag nag-prepare ka ng combined FS, magkakaroon ng mark up dun sa combined FS mo. 
So kung, kung babalikan natin yung journal entry, ang mangyayari doon, first entry, eto kasi at cost eh, yung shipments to branch, tandaan nyo class, at cost yan. Pag may markup, may tinatawag tayo yung allowance for overvaluation of inventory. AOI na lang itawag natin. Actually, maraming tawag dyan. Yung iba, allowance for over... AFOBI, AFOB, ganyan. O, kayong bahala. O, para maikli, AOI na lang tatawag ko dyan. Okay? Ito yung markup. So, for example, shipments to branch amounting to 100, yung AOI natin, which is the markup, is 120. Okay? Ngayon, sa point of view ni branch, ang nareceive niya 120. Wala siyang idea kung ano yung cost. Okay? So, in class, very important yung ano yun. Ha? Si Branch, na nareceive siya ng fries from the home office, alam lang niya 120 yung babayaran niya kay home office. Hindi niya alam kung how much yung markup or kung may markup ba doon si home office. Nakuha niyo, class? So, pag sinabing shipments from home office, kasama na dyan yung markup. Okay? Pag sinabing shipments to branch, cost lang yun. Ihiwalay mo yung AOI. Okay, class? yung markup. Now, ang maiging epekto din yan, dito sa working paper entry natin, obviously, yung AOI, nag-arise siya from uh, transaction between home office and branch. So, ibig sabihin, class, ang normal balance niya is a credit, hindi balance yung entry natin kasi at cost to, ito at, at bill price. Okay? So, maglalagay ka ng debit AOI. Okay na? Balance na yung journal entry natin. So, may mga problems na may markup, may mga problems na walang markup. Obviously, mas madali pag walang markup. Okay? So, ayan, class. Yan yung overview ng lesson natin for today. Okay? Knowing this, let's go to our exercises. Okay? Ayan, ganyan lang. Ganyan lang ano natin, discarding natin sa home office and branch. Okay, class? So, gagawin natin. Ito na lang. Erase ko na to. Make sure na copy nyo yung illustration natin, class. Because, uh, ito yung magiging guide natin when we answer our uh, exercises for today. Okay? So hopefully after yung after ng discussion natin today, master mo na yung home office and branch. Okay, mo tatakot sa mga ganyan topics no? kasi yung mga students, pag nasabi na na, "Uy, home office and branch, ako, mahirap na topic 'yan." Ayoko nang ganun yung mindset nyo. Gusto ko ang mindset nyo, "Uy, mahirap na topic pero kayang-kaya 'yan." Diba? As long as sabi ni Sir, magets mo yung concept, no? Magets natin ano yung effects accounting sa FS, okay? And siyempre mga techniques na ituturo ko sa inyo today. Kayang-kaya natin yan, okay? So, dapat ma-excite kayo pag may mga home office and branch na problems kayo sasagutan, okay? Diretso muna tayo doon sa problems. Sa, sa dulo natin, sagutan yung theory natin. Let's go to problem number one. Okay, let's go to problem number one. Siyempre, questions muna yung titignan natin, class, ha? Question number one, the billing rate or of home office to branch for merchandise shipment is yung billing rate, class, magkano daw yung markup Okay? Ni home office na siya charge siya kay branch. So, pag ganun, alam natin, may meron tayo dyan AOI or AFOB or kung ano man yung tawag yun. Kung ano yung gusto nyo tawagin. Okay. Question number two. How much of the December 1 beginning inventory of the branch represent purchases from outsiders and goods shipped from home office? Ngayon, class, yung branches kanina na illustration natin, si home office nagbibigay, nagbibigay ng fries dun sa branches, Pwedeng may instances na out of stock, for example, si home office ng fries, okay? So, ano gagawin ni Branch? Pwede siyang bumili from outside suppliers, okay? Iyon pa yung isang trick dito. So, pwede siyang bumili from outside suppliers. Ano yung magiging implication nun? Yung implication nun is, yung may markup lang, syempre yung fries na galing kay home office, okay? Yun, yung bibili ni, ni Branch from outside suppliers, well, wala ka nang wala ka nang pakialam kung magkano pa yung markup ni supplier sa iyo. Nakuha mo? O later. I-mention ko lang na may meron ganung instances which is this problem ganun yung ganun yung, yung scenario, okay? So, i-discuss natin siya mamaya kung paano gagawin natin diyan. All right? Question number three. net income reported by the branch. Again, si branches meron sila lang separate reporting, okay? Separate books. Question number four. combined net income. Okay? Ano yung combined net income that you will see? In the combined financial statements. Okay, yun yung mga questions sa atin. Selected information from the trial balances of the home office and branch of Catherine Company on December 31 is provided. The branch acquires merchandise from the home office and outside suppliers. Okay, so si branch kumukuha siya ng inventory from a home office, kumukuha din siya from outside suppliers. Okay, now... Ito yung information ni home office and ni branch. So, after operating for one year, okay, makikita mo sa books nila, sa FS nila, ito yung results. 
So, meron kang sales, shipments to branch, allowance, yung AOI, okay? Uh, shipments from home office, purchases. Pag sinabi mong purchases, automatic from outside doon. Kasi, hindi natin ginagamit yung term na inventory or purchases eh, pag transactions between home office and branch. Ang ginagamit natin na term, shipments to and shipments from. Okay? Merchandise inventory, so January 1. Alright? Expenses, 14,000, 6,000. Additional info, merchandise inventory, December 31. So, take note of the dates. Meron tayong January, meron tayong December 1 and December 31. So, ang result pala na to is for the month of December. Okay? Home office, 20,000. Branch, 75 from home office and 25 from outsiders. Okay. So, class, ganito yung gagawin nyo. Dalawa lang naman yung uh, possible na tanong sa home office and branch. Yung una is eh, yung mga combined, United income, etc. Yung pangalawa, reconciliation. Later, yung reconciliation na aralin natin. Pero, uh, yun lang. Yung dalawa lang na yun yung pwedeng tanong sa'yo. No? So, sa combined FS and recon, i-reconcile mo yung investment in branch and home office account. Doon muna tayo sa una, which is obviously yung, yung problem ngayon, yung combined uh, net income, okay? So, class, ganit, yung, kung, kung tinuro ko kayo ng magic table sa LTCC, okay? Meron din tayong magic table for home office and branch, okay? So, ito lang gagamitin mo, class. Lagay mo dito, cost. Okay? Dito yung build price. Okay? And then, the difference between cost and build price is our AOI, okay? The markup. Tama? Iyon yung ano natin, uh, headers natin, okay? And then, dito naman sa column natin dito, ilalagay natin dyan yung computation of cost of goods sold, okay? So, we have beginning inventory, we have shipment, ano yung pag beginning inventory plus shipment, yun yung cost of goods available for sale. Pero, pero since hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung term na cost, kasi may cost ka sa ka-build, ang gamitin natin term is goods available for sale, Okay? Goods available for sale minus ending inventory. We have cost of goods sold. Okay, pero again, yung cost of goods sold technically hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na cost of goods sold kasi meron kang build dito, di ba? Pero sige, cost of goods sold din ang gamitin natin para mas malinaw yung discussion natin. Okay? So yun yung uh, natin, yung table na gagamitin natin. So, class, I assure you, no? Pag ito yung ginamit mo, okay, kahit anong tanong sa home office and branch, kaya kaya mo sagutan yan. So, tignan natin. And then, uh, sige, tignan natin yung given. Merong shipments to branch, nakita nyo dyan, 8,000. Okay, based on our journal entry, yung shipments to branch, is it at cost or at build price? It's at cost. Okay, 8,000, dito mo siya lalagay. Kuha? Okay. Ano pa yung mga given sa problem? Allowance. O, doon muna tayo sa shipments from, para partner sila. Shipments from, alam natin pag shipments from, yun yung nareceive mo na total amount from the home office at build price yun. Amount is 10,000. 10,000 minus 8,000, AOI natin is 2,000. Pag nag-journal entry ka din, credit shipments to branch, 8,000. Credit AOI, 2,000. Doon naman sa point of view ni branch, meron siyang debit shipment from 10,000. Okay? And then, class, nakita niyo yung balance ng AOI dyan, 3,600. Pag binibigyan ka ng balance ng AOI, i-assume mo na iyon yung AOI from the beginning inventory and the shipment. Okay? Ibig sabihin, before pa natin i-recognize yung ending inventory and cost of goods sold. So, pag basta, basta may makita ka ng AOI, in all cases, class, no? Okay? In all cases, dito mo siya ilalagay sa goods available for sale. 3,600. Ibig sabihin, uh, it's before the realization of our of the goods sold. Okay? So, dun siya. So, class, kung meron kang 3,600, meron kang 2,000, how much dapat to? Oh? 1-6 Tama lang? Okay So, if meron kang If 2,000 over 8,000 is 2,000 over 8,000 is 25% Tama ba? Yung 2,000 is 25% ng 8,000 eh. Yung 1-6, pag dinivide ko yung by 25% 6 4 Adi 6 4 to Tama ba, class? And then, alam natin na yung AOI is the difference between build and cost. So, ibig sabihin, 6, 4 plus 1, 6, which is 8,000, yun yung build price. O, oh, ayan. Kuha, class. Okay. Alam natin yung goods available for sale is just the sum of the two. 6, 4 plus 8,000 is 14,400. 8,000 plus 10,000, this is 18,000. Difference nila is 3,600. 
Nakuha nyo class? So, ito lang yung alam natin. Kanina, nakompleto natin yung uh, yung upper part of the table. Okay? Sige. Tingnan natin yung ending inventory. Tingin ka dun sa last part of the given. Ending merchandise inventory, December 31. From home office, 20,000. Si branch, uh, sorry, si home office may 20,000 siya. Class, yung ina-analyze natin, yung books ni branch, ha? Okay? Kasi, ano siya? Uh, eto. So, mamaya na si home office. Yung kay branch naman, may 7-5 daw na galing sa home office. May 2-5 na galing outsiders. Okay, class? Very critical. Okay? Very important. Listen very carefully. Lahat ng outside transactions, lahat ng outside suppliers, or outsiders, dito mo sila i-analyze. Huwag kang maglalagay ng outside transactions dito sa table natin. Magkakamali ka na ron. Okay? Huwag kang maglalagay ng transactions between branch and outside suppliers dito sa table natin. Dun siya, nakahiwalay siya. Kaya outside suppliers, outside the table natin yan. Okay? Bakit, sir? Eh, baka kasi si suppliers, iba yung markup niyan. Di ba? Actually, wala tayong pakialam sa markup ni supplier kasi... Kung magkano natin binili, yung record natin sa books. While dito, since yung combined FS, kailangan natin tanggalin yung markup sa home, from the home office, then dito natin siya i-analyze sa table natin. Okay? Very important class. So, sabi dyan, sa merchandise inventory branch, 7.5 from the home office and 2.5 from the suppliers. Yung 7.5 ending inventory yan, tama? Class, saan ko ilalagay yun? Dito sa cost or sa build? Yung 7.5. Cost or build? Oh, isipin nyo muna mabuti. Cost or build, yung 7.5. Hmm. Si Branch yung nag-report. Okay? So, si Branch yung nag-report, sir. Walang idea si Branch kung magkano yung cost niyan. Okay? Ang may idea lang siya kung magkano chinard sa kanya na home office. Therefore, yung 7.5 dito, dito mo siya lalagay. 7,500. Does that make sense, class? Okay, on? Uwa? Okay. Ngayon, 7.5. 7.5 yan, no? Alam natin na yung AOI natin is 20... Ano yung nakumpit natin kayo na? 25% of cost, tama? Pero class, iba yan, ha? Kasi pag AOI, dinibay mo naman at build price, 2,000 divided by 10,000, 20%, okay? So, if markup on build price, or, or yes, markup, 20% yun. Pero markup on cost, 25%. Tama ba yan? Okay, so, if 7.5 to... Okay, paano mo makukuha yung AOI? Multiply mo ba eh? 20%. Tama ba yung class? So, 7.5 times 0 0.2, 1,500. Ano ka yan? 1,500. Nakuha niyo ba yung class? Kasi, ganito lang yan eh. Kung, kung ito, 2,000, di mo ha? 2,000 divided by 10,000 times 7.5, makukuha mo yung 1,500. Para nag-ratio proportion lang ako, nakuha ko yung 1,500. Kuha niyo yung class? 7.5 minus 1.5, alam natin, this is 6,000. Okay? And then, makukuha na natin yung cost of goods sold. Actually, technically, ang tawag dyan, goods sold lang eh. Kasi ito, cost of goods sold, ito naman parang build, parang build, uh, of, build amount of goods sold. Parang ganyan. Pero anyway, cost of goods sold na itawag natin. 14.4 minus 6,000, 8,400 here. Okay? 18,000 minus 7,5 10,500 And then, 3,6 minus 1,5 This is 2,100 Once matapos mo yung table na yan Almost Sabihin natin na 80% 80% complete ka na sa problem Okay? So, kuha nyo class So, hindi lahat given sa atin Pero dahil alam natin na Yung AOI is 20% of build price And 25% of cost So, natapos natin yung table Okay? So, ngayon, dito tayo sa outside suppliers. Kukumpitin ulit natin yung cost of goods sold. Pero transactions between the branch naman and outside suppliers. Okay? So, tingin tayo, class, sa beginning inventory. Nakita niyo ba dun sa given sa atin? Begin merchandise inventory, December 1. Merong 20,000 dyan, may 15,000. Nakita niyo yung 15,000. Dun tayo sa branch, ha? Yung branch lang. Okay? So, beginning inventory, 15,000. Class, yung 15,000 na yan. Okay? May dalawang components yun eh. Pwedeng portion dyan galing sa outside, okay? Or galing sa home office, yun muna. Or, and then portion yan galing outside suppliers. Hindi mo pwedeng basta-basta ilagay yung 15,000 dito kasi double count ka, tama? Kasi na-consider mo na yung iba dito sa table natin. Quest question ko sa inyo, class. 
How much dyan sa 15,000 yung galing sa home office? Siyempre, titingin ka dito, di ba? Ano yung titingnan mo dyan? 6,400 or 8,000? How much dyan yung uh, galing sa home office? 6,400 or 8,000? Who says 6,400? Ha? Huh? Who says 8,000? Answer is 8,000. 8,000 yan, class. Again, as far as the branch is concerned, yung alam lang niya is the build price. Okay? Wala siyang alam sa, sa cost na yan. Si home office ang bahala dyan. Basta si branch alam lang niya yung build price. Ngayon, yung 15,000 na yan, ang galing sa home office is 8,000. 15,000 minus 8,000, from outside, meron siyang 7,000. Kaya pa nag-compute ka, naglagay ka ng beginning inventory, 7,000 yan. How do you compute for the cost of goods sold? Beginning inventory plus purchases. Nasa niyo purchases? Nakita niyo class dyan, purchases outsiders. Kahit walang sinabi outsiders, basta narinig niyo yung nabasa niyo yung purchases. It means purchases from outside suppliers. 5,500. Okay? 5,500. Obviously, hindi mo gagamitin yung term na shipments pag galing sa outside. Okay? Gagamitin mo lang yun pag galing sa home office. Beginning inventory plus purchases. Tawagin natin uh, goods available for sale yan. Okay? 12,500. Tama? Ending inventory natin. Nakita nyo ba class dun sa last part of the given? 7,500 from the home office, 2,500 from the outsiders. Ano gagamitin mo? 7,500 or 2,500? Obviously, it's 2,500. Kasi nagamit mo na yung 7,500 dito. Okay? 2,500. 12,500 minus 2,500. You have 10,000 here. Cost of goods sold. Okay. Basta magawa mo yan, class. Yung table na to and yung outside suppliers, okay ka na. Kaya mo na sagutan lahat yan. Okay, yun yung goal natin. So, ganyan ang gagawin mo format pa yung sasagot ka ng home office and branch. Ngayon, class, pag wala kang transactions with outside suppliers, eh, di mas madali, <laughs> di ba? Kasi ito lang, okay ka na. Sige, let's, uh, let's uh, answer, the, answer the, the, uh, the questions. Question number one. The billing rate of, of home office to branch for merchandise shipments is, and then, syempre, class, Ingat ka din dito, di ba? Uh, alam natin kanina, sabi ko, yung, yung markup natin is 20% of the build price or 25% of cost. Dinivide lang natin yun. 2,000 divided by 10,000, 20%. 2,000 divided by 8,000, 25%. Ngayon, makikita mo dyan, merong 120%, may 125%. Ingat ka lang dun kasi nasold nga natin, naging careless ka naman. Alam mo, mali na yung CND kasi 130 saka 135. Hindi naman yung compute natin. So, class, ano yan? 120% of cost or 125% of cost? Answer is 125% of cost. Okay? Ganun siya. So, okay, ah, pwede yung isipin mo yan. 10,000. Sabi dyan kasi, uh, billing rate of, of home office to branch. Ang gagawin ko dyan, billing rate, tapos nakalagay pa dyan, of cost. Ang gagawin ko dyan, 10,000 divided by 8,000. Tama ba? So, ang binibill mo kay branch is 10,000, pero ang cost lang niya is 8,000. Pag, pag dinivide mo yan, 1.25 or 125%. Okay? 1.25. Kuha class. Okay. Answer is boy. 125% of cost. Ingat na lang ha. So, doon ka pa madadali dyan. Nasagod mo yung problem pero doon ka pa na nadali. Question number two. How much of the December 1 inventory of the branch represent purchases from outsiders? Okay. And good ship from home office. Okay. Ito na. Home office is 8,000. Outsider, 7,000. Nasaan yan? Letter C. Okay? Ang important lang dun, class, is yung paggamit natin ng 8,000. Basta, nasa inventory, okay? Pag pinag-uusapan ni si Branch, ang alam lang ni Branch, very important, ang alam lang ni Branch is the build price or yung galing sa home office. Wala siyang pakialam sa cost, okay? Ang, kahit di niya alam yun, okay lang. Si home office na nakakaalam nun. Letter C is the answer for question number two. Let's go to question number three. The net income reported by the branch. Okay lang, class. I-erase ko na ito. Okay? So, parang kanina, in-illustrate lang natin ano yung mga journal entry sa books nila. Okay? Para may space tayo. Alright. So, again, class, if uh, sa home office and branch, yan lang yung gagamitin yung format. Gagamitin lang yung table natin na yan. And then, easy na yung kahit anong tanong sa'yo, kaya kaya mo sagutin. Okay? Yan ang mga technique kapag medyo may hirap na problem. Dapat organize yung ano mo, yung yung atake mo dun sa problem, okay? And class, pag tinuruan niyo kay ng business combi, 'di ba? Same lang concept nila. Papakita ko sa inyo, hindi mo kailangan mag-memorize ng formulas, okay? 
Actually, inaaral ko yung business combi, walang formulas. Tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-analyze ng business combi problem. Hindi mo kailangan mag-memorize ng formulas. Understanding lang. Parang ito ginagawa natin. Okay? Nag-memorize ka ba ng formulas? Hindi. Ito, alam. matagal na natin alam yung computation ng cost of goods. So, dama. Naglagay lang tayo ng table. Yun na yan. Okay? Sa so, business combi, ganyan lang din. Okay? So, huwag kayo matatakot sa mga ganyang problems, sa mga ganyang topics. No? Kasi, ang typical student, na, nauunahan ng takot. Eh. Alam yun? Nangyari, home office and branch. Matatakot na kasi feedback nila sa ibang studyante or pag natuturo prof na, hindi na maintindihan. Business combi. Pag sinayang business combi, parang natatakot na sila. Process costing, natatakot sila. Forex. Hindi, hindi mahihirap yung topics na yung class. Ang goal ko dito, ang goal namin dito, Again, at the end of the day, it's about understanding, uh, appreciation muna ng concept before tayo atakihin yung mga, yung mga topics na yan, okay? Pag kasi nai-imagine mo, kunyari kanina, potato corner, ah, ganun lang pala sir yung transaction ng home office and branch. Nai-imagine mo siya, okay? Ngayon, pag nag, nagsulat ako ng mga entries, nawi-visualize mo siya, mas na-appreciate mo sa totoong buhay, di ba? Yung kasi yung technique yan sa accounting, eh. Hindi yan basta, okay, pag kinu hindi yan basta ganito, kunyari, oh, pag combine net income, aad mo lahat to. Hindi ganun. Okay? Kailangan pag-iisipan mo lang siya. I mean, pag-iisipan, syempre, nandiyan na rin yung magiging familiar ka kung paano yung mga procedures. Pero, yung familiarization na yun, after na yun ng understanding ng concepts. Okay? So, pag nagpa-practice ka na, nagsasagot ka na ng mga questions, makikita mo, na, paulit-ulit lang pala, sir. Eh. Di ba? Ganun lang pala mag-compute nito. Okay? So, ganun yung pag-aaral ng accounting class. Ha? Anyway, so, sana ako, doon na tayo sa net income reported by the branch. Okay, so net income reported by the branch Tuna tayo dun sa given class Okay, dito natin lagay ang question number 3 Net income reported by the branch Okay, so tingin ka dun sa nireport ni branch Nirecord na yung sales Nakita mo class yung sales na 30,000 Siyempre net income yun, obviously Kasama dyan yung sales, 30,000 So kung may sales ka, meron ka din cost of goods sold Okay dito sa table natin, dalawa yung cost of goods sold. Actually, tatlo pala. Okay, tatlo. Meron kang 8,400, meron kang 10,500, meron kang 10,000. Okay, sige class. Ang sabi dyan, net income reported by the branch. Alin yung nireport ni branch? Cost or build? Answer is, build. 8,400 or 10,500? Answer is, 10,500. Okay? Basta si branch nag-report, ang alam lang niya is the build price. So, ibig sabihin, pag ang tanong is net income reported by the branch, ang kukunin mo dyan is the 10.5. And obviously, huwag mo kalimutan itong 10. Okay? Kasi pag outside suppliers, wala na tayong pakialam sa cost or build. Walang ganong concept dyan. Kasi lahat yan at cost kung magkano binili mo kay suppliers. Nakuha niyo class. So, ang gagamitin mo dyan, dalawa yung source ng cost of goods sold mo. Cost of goods sold na galing sa transactions from or supplies, supply from the home office, 10.5. From outside, 10,000. So, lagay ko dito, cost of goods sold. Lagay natin dyan, cost of goods sold, dalawa. Lagay natin, ha? Home office and outside. Okay? From home office, we have 10,500. From outside suppliers, meron tayong 10,000. Nag-ayusin ko yung handwriting. Okay. So, cost of goods sold, i-move natin. So, dito yung sales. Cost of goods sold. From home office and outside, okay? From home office at build price, 10,500. And outside suppliers, 10,000. Okay? Sige. So, may gross profit tayo kasi sales minus cost of goods sold, gross profit. Sige nga. Plus, get your calculators. Compute with me. 30,000 minus 10,500 minus 10,000, 9,500. 9,500. 9,500. If meron kang GP, eto klas, huwag mo natin, huwag mo nakakalimutan na may OPEX ka din dyan. Tama? Nakita niyo class yung OPEX sa problem, 6,000. Yes. Okay. 9,500 minus 6,000. Net income reported by the branch is 3,500. Final answer is letter C. Letter C. Why? Okay. Number four. Combined net income for home office and branch. Okay, combined net income for home office and branch. Sige nga. So, okay na yung kay branch. Tama, nakompute na natin yung net income niya. Kay home office naman. Sige. So, kay home office, tingin ka dun sa given, meron din siyang sales. Sales ni home office. How much class? How much yun? 60,000. Ayan, 60,000. Okay, sales ni home office, 60,000. And then, obviously, kakukomputin din natin yung cost of goods sold niyan. Tama? Tama? So, dito na natin computein yung cost of goods. So, so, COGS, 
Tama? Dito natin compute. Asterisk ka? Malagyan ko na asterisk. Dito natin compute yung cost of goods sold ni home office. Obviously, meron siyang beginning inventory. How much yung beginning inventory ni home office class? 20,000. Tama? Nakita nyo sa given? 20,000. Plus purchases. So, si home office meron siyang purchases from outside. 35,000. Ibig sabihin, si home office bumibili from outside and then, iyon yung sinusupply niya kay branch. Okay? So, purchases is 35,000. Okay? Ito yung huwag mong kakalimutan. Parang sa, na, parang na-discuss natin ito sa installment sales. Tinatanggal natin yung shipments. Okay? Dito rin, ganun. Tanggalin mo yung shipments kasi ma-overstate yung ano mo eh. Ma-overstate yung inventory mo. Tama? How much yung shinip natin kay, kay branch? Okay. It's either 8,000 or 10,000. Alin dyan ang class yun? Alin yung ima-minus mo dyan? 8,000 or 10,000? Si home office, alam ba niya yung cost? Yes. Okay? And pag nag-credit ka ng shipment to branch, yung shipment to branch, at cost ba yun or at bill price? At cost. Okay? So, yung shipment to branch na yan, ma-minus mo yung 8,000 na yan. Okay? 8,000. Buha class? Okay. So, yun yung goods available for sale natin. Okay, cost of goods available for sales. Sige nga, compute natin. 20,000 plus 35,000 minus 8,000, 47,000. Okay, 47. Minus ending inventory. How much yung ending inventory ni home office? Uh, nakita nyo yung 20,000 sa last part of the given. Yes, 20,000. 47,000 minus 20,000. You have 27,000 here. This is the cost of goods sold off. The home office. 27,000. O, lagay natin dyan. 27,000. 60,000 minus 27,000. O, ano yan? 60,000 minus 27,000. Teka. Double check lang natin yung solution ko dito. Okay. 60,000. Okay. 60,000 minus 27. You have 33,000. Okay. 33,000 as your GP. Okay. This is your GP. Okay? And then, magkano yung OPEX ni home office class? Nakita nyo dyan yung 14,000. Yes. OPEX, 14,000. Okay. 33,000 minus 14,000. You have 19,000 here. 19,000 is the net income to be reported by the home office. Okay. So, 3,500 kay branch, 19,000 kay home office. Pag in-add mo siya, 19,000 plus 3,500, 22,500. Actually, A yung makikita mo dyan. Tama? Okay. Eh, yung sagot kapag pag in mo lang. Kasi combined net income eh. Hindi combine mo siya. Ano yung problem dun? Uh, yung problema dun, sir, ang ginamit mong cost of goods sold kay branch, 10-5. Dapat hindi. Kasi, at the end of the day, si home office at si branch, iisa lang sila pagdating sa combined FS. Tama? Kung iisa lang sila, dapat ang gawin mong cost of goods sold kay branch is at cost 8-4. 10.5 yung ginamit natin, no? Tama? So, pag ginawa mong 8.4 yan, i-recompute mo, yun yung true net income of the branch or the correct or the combined net income to be to be presented by from the branch. Okay? So, ang gagawin mo dyan, net income, okay? Combined net income yung ano natin, di ba? Combined net income yung pinocompute natin. So, si branch, meron siyang 3.5, Okay? Si net, net income naman ni home office, okay, na-compute natin is 19,000. And then, alam natin yung difference para ma-compute mo yung combined net income lies in the cost of goods sold. Okay? Yung ginamit natin is 10,500 pero dapat 8,400. 10,500 minus 8,400. Uy! Di ba yun din yung 2,1 which is the AOI in your cost of goods sold? Tama? So, 2,1 siya. So, lalagay mo dyan yung AOI. Okay? AOI, yun yung, ano, yun yung may adjusting, adjustment mo. Okay. Tanong ko sa inyo, class, do you add or do you deduct the AOI to compute for the combined net income? Sipin nyo mabuti. Add or minus? So, ginawa natin sa computation is 10.5. Okay. Dapat 8.4. So, dapat bumaba yung COGS nito. Pag bumaba yung COGS, tataas net income. So, dapat yung 2.1 natin na yan, i-add natin. Plus 2,100. Okay. So, 3,500 plus 19,000 plus 2,1, makukuha niyo yung 24,600. 24,600 is the combined net income to be reported by the home office. Okay? 
which is 24,600 letter boy B. Okay? So class, pwede mo ring gawin doon, i-recompute mo yung net income ni Brancha. Pwede mong gawin doon uh, instead of using 10584. Pero siyempre, since ang galing na tayo dito, 35 na gamitin mo saka 19,000, tama? Pero ang adjusting mo na lang is the AOI in your uh, cost of goods sold. Addition siya, tama? Kasi dapat nang sababa yung cost of goods sold na gagamitin mo 84 instead of 10,500. All right? I-gamitin natin, i-extend pa natin yung questions. Okay? Question number 5. 4 yan, di ba? Question number 5. Sige. Uh, ito na lang. Okay lang, i-risk ka to class. Sige nga. Talaga nang ikinig kayo sa akin, ha? Question number 5. What if tinanong dyan ano yung true, true branch net income? Pag sinabing true branch net income, okay? Ano yung sasagot mo dyan? True branch net income, okay? Ibig sabihin niyan, ang gusto ng problem, gamitin mo daw yung cost of goods sold at cost. Gamitin mo daw yung 8,400. So, ang mangyayari dyan, 3,500. Yung net income na yan, tama. Add mo yung 2,100. Okay? Tama ba? 5,600. Okay? Iyan yung true branch net income natin, 5,600. Ito yung term na ginagamit dyan. True branch net income. Ibig sabihin, and iyon yung net income na i-combine mo sa net income ni home office. Nakuha nyo class? So, ayan. Pag true branch net income, answer is 5,600. Isa pang question, no? di ba? Lakas nyo sa akin, eh. So, pag talaga nag-gets nyo yung uh, discussion ko, sige, dapat masagot nyo ito, ha? How much is the ending inventory? How much is the ending inventory? Okay. Reported in the books of the branch. How much daw yung naka-report na ending inventory sa books ni Branch? Uy, sir, ito yung ending inventory, oh. Okay, so how much class? Ending inventory reported in the books of the branch. 6,000 or 7,500? Answer is, pag-reported sa books ni Branch, 7,500. Tama? Huwag mong kalimutan yung ending inventory from outside suppliers. 7,500 plus 2,500, you have 10,000. Pag sinabing ending inventory, okay, Reported in the books of the branch, answer is 10,000. Number seven, pag tanong naman sa'yo, how much is the ending inventory in the combined financial statements? Siyempre, pag combined, cost na yung basis mo, oh, hindi na build price. So, 6,000 plus 2,500. Don't forget this, ha? Okay, 2,500. Doon ka pa magkakamali. Makalimutan mo yung out ending inventory from outside. Pag combine, isasama mo yung kay home office. How much yung ending inventory ni home office? Ah, nakompute na natin siya kanina. Sa given siya, nakita nyo ba dyan yung 20,000? Yes. 6,000 plus 25, 20,000. So, 26, 28,500. If the question is, how much is the co combined ending inventory? Answer is 28,500. Basta combined, cost lagi yung magiging ano, basis mo. Okay. So, ayan. Yan yung mga sagot dyan. Alright? So, basta nag-gets nyo yan. Ako, easy na sa nyo yung, ano, yung home office. Home office and branch. Okay, class? Sige. So, let's uh, 